new plan with the painting. I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my touch to it. It's taking a long time, and I feel like I need to just pitch in and however it turns out, it turns out. So I went to Lowe's this morning. I was there actually at like 6:30, and I got a new a smaller pan. So I think that'll be nice to, you know, not have to uh, have a bigger pan with a small brush. And I also got another roller brush. I still have a small roller. And I'll let you know, I don't like to paint. I'm a messy painter, but I need to give this a shot because it's taking much longer and I don't I don't want to be obligated I, I just feel this sense of obligation that I thought it was going to be like a three or four day job and it's turned out to be much more with you know the high ceilings uh, getting the uh, the groove of the nickel gap so I'll just take my time use a small brush you know and we'll be on like almost eight days I'm hoping to be done by like you know in three more days I don't know that's wishful thinking but if I have to do the trim later myself that's what I'm gonna do Patrick is willing but I don't want this to be a two-week job <laughs> and I'm not good with watching people work either you know it was different when I was seeing my house built because I was videoing and I was working but um, yeah I can go out and and do things which I already have and you know getting supplies and getting paint and taking care of business but um, yeah I'm just gonna put my hands to the grind now and we'll see how it goes I'll give you an and update this is day four yep day four but um, I don't know out of the four days got here Wednesday it's Saturday I would say he maybe has what well, was a full day the first day and then I don't know three four hours the next two days so but we've only got like three walls done I mean and they're the small walls leading into the bathroom and around the closet it has the two coats on it and he did put some trim and a guy came by yesterday and brought a 10-foot ladder so you know there's been some incidentals and interruptions and things like that and I'm not being impatient I just feel like you know 10 days to do the interior with three guys and you know two weeks to, to paint you know Patrick doing it by himself is, is, is just not cool <laughs> And I've got other things I need to do, you know? Uh, landscaping, I believe, is next, so stay tuned. Guys, I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. I did not think that I was going to put my hand to the roller. Got a few tips from Patrick. Probably only painted, I don't know, anywhere between three to five rooms in my life. But I'm thinking, you know, just go slow. Less paint is more because <laughs> I make a mess. And it seems like I'm getting pretty good into the nickel gaps. Um, yeah, I did a little taping here. I think I don't remember ever taping in my life. Maybe once when my daughter and I painted. But uh, there's the first three boards. So I'm, I'm hopeful, you know, and this is supposed to be what they call a forgiving paint. So amateurs like myself, you know, brush marks, roller marks, um, with the, of course, the second coat, which I'm kind of tired of talking about, but that should take care of some of this because there's a little frustration in thinking, wow, you should be able to paint this with one coat because that's what they say. But then I was talking to a professional painter this morning and he was like, no, oh, most professionals do two coats anyways. So. There you have it. I'm just going to keep going. Less babble, more work. 
Hey guys, so we are in the least conspicuous place in the house for Linda to practice, right? Practice makes better. Remember I said that the other day. And seeing is believing. Can you believe it? I'm holding this roller. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And so we try to get as close as possible. There's the frog tape. Do you, are you a frog tape or a blue tape person? There we go. See, rolling, rolling. This is one uh, full thing of paint. Turn it around here, all the way to the edge. And it's nice and covered. And then, of course, as soon as it starts to dry, and it's not as thick, which I'm still in disbelief of all that baloney. Okay, so I don't like false advertising. Anyways, there we go. Nice and smooth, and it's it's covered. Um, the lighting isn't the greatest in here either, so we've got lamps going on here, there, and everywhere. I'll just set this down. Normally, I put this back in. I put this back in the pan, but I've got the microwave um, shelf right below me here. And then I take, I have a little plastic cup. These are from the days when my grand sweet peas and, and uh, we were pour painting. I remember I took those with me and we did the pour painting together. Um, but now just a teeny bit and I am concentrating on, you know, going slow because I'm one who I like to work with a sense of urgency and get things done. I like to get them done right. You know, it did take me over a year to write my book, but I would have loved to it for it to have been done in two months. So I do know how to take my time, but my nature is getting things done. So we go into now, if you can, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit, or maybe you can, yeah, you can see this. As we go inside the crack here, that's called the nickel gap. I'll move it over here so you can see what I'm doing. And you, you know, you get it uh, to apply with some pressure. So it's all about technique. Um, you know, I, would, I, don't, I don't know. This doesn't feel like an amateur person type job. I mean, even the finisher said, get yourself a professional to paint this. Um, but at the same time, you know, when you're trying to uh, save money and you have someone who's blessed you like this, that it's hard to say, oh no, you know. So I think we're doing good now. I really didn't want to put my hands on this because I felt like I don't have the experience at all. But I've done a lot of research and I'm like, you know what, Linda, you need to help out. Because like I said earlier, I don't want this to be a two-week job. That just doesn't feel right. To, to, uh, I'm borrowing ladders. Uh, I've got people who are being gracious, not to mention Patrick's time. He wants to go see do other things. And so there's no need to drag this out for two weeks. I just think that's, that's just too much. And I also have a hard time living in dis disarray. I mean, that's not the bigger thing, but I'm just you know being transparent with you about everything is I know people say when they're remodeling a kitchen or something, it is so hard to live in your house when you've got everything, um, you know, all topsy-turvy. So anyways, I'm feeling good about this. Um, gonna continue behind the refrigerator and behind the microwave. And then I'm gonna head off into the uh, center wall. And from there, then come back and do a second coat. I am doing 12 boards up from the bottom. And I'm on a uh, Costco two-step stool right now. So there you have it. I don't think I'm going to uh, film much more, uh, maybe a little bit, you know, towards the end of the day, what I've gotten done. But you're going to see the whole house finished when you come to the open house. You're invited. The virtual open house. Seeing is believing here. Uh, last... Evening, late afternoon, Patrick did the second coat on the top boards, and I've been working uh, anywhere between 10 to 12 boards down now, or from the bottom up. So today is day two for me as far as painting. And before church this a.m., I got up really early and decided to do my 
first coat. So we start here, go all the way down, and hopefully the second coat is gonna make it look beautiful as it's supposed to. <laughs> so we've got lots of different lamps in here and the corner was already done, Patrick had done that. And then here's more of what I did this AM and all over here. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I am perfecting my technique inside the uh, nickel gap as well. It's kind of like you go and pull towards you with the brush in a like semi-feather motion and only use it look like about a half of the brush, whether it uh, splits in the middle or just one half. And it seems to go in really well. So I'm pleased with that. I prayed and asked God to give me some Give me some skill, and I think he has. Uh, Patrick came back from going to church and did this trim so that we could get the now 10-foot ladder out of here. And there's still a lot more to do. The second coat now I think I'll put on this afternoon. Found a great church, and more on that later. I've been checking out different churches in the area. And then... Of course, we've got to do the trim in here as well. So there you have it, guys. A little wrap up. And this is where Patrick's been staying. A Ram 3500. He had this in Arizona and he sleeps in his truck. He's got a bed in there. And then this is his tent. It's a gazelle. Does anyone have a gazelle tent? He said he really likes it. He can stand up in here. And he's got a cot in there, and he's got a butane, um, well, a little stove, and he also has a heater in there, so that's really cool. And glad that I was able to give him that little bit of space. And this is the RV space as well. And so there you have it. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. And I'm excited. I hope in the next couple days we'll have the micro home painted. I'm glad I started to pitch in here. And uh, I don't know. Patrick thinks I'm doing a good job, but I always question myself alongside a professional and <laughs> see what the difference would be. So we're both new to shiplap and it's, it's working out pretty well. Patrick has helped me to do all the tall stuff. So with that guys, blessings in your day and joy in all your projects in the journey. Guys, one more thing, little update here. Patrick was in here all day yesterday working on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 boards, 10 or 11, and uh, two areas that still need done. Now you can see the contrast in the color of the drift of mist and the prime ship lap. Uh, this is an area that's gonna need a special ladder. So we'll see how that works out. And then last night after I was gone all day, cause I wanted to be out of uh, Patrick's way and let him do his thing. I finished up the, uh, oh, I guess it's about you know 10 or 11 boards right here. I did a second coat. And he still needs a second coat up here, as you can see, or it needs a second coat. And then, if you look here, I'm now, this is so much fun. Oh my gosh, frog tape is so easy. And to think I was gonna go with masking tape to save money, shame on me. Someone stopped me at Lowe's and said, um, frog tape over masking tape, and I was like, the girl at the counter didn't say that. She's like, well, you didn't ask me, or I didn't see it. She didn't say you didn't ask her. She said she didn't see it in my pile. But this is day seven, and still have all the trim to do. So I'm not sure if Patrick's doing any of the trim. He did some of the high parts in the other room, but... Uh, yeah, this has been pretty lengthy, and um, I may just, you know, have to do the trim one window at a time and take my time with it, but 
Yep, this all needs a second coat over here on this side as well. So there you go, guys. You see the difference between the two. First and second does make a world of difference. And I hope you enjoyed this three-part series. Later.